Praise the Lord. It's time for praise and worship. Is someone excited in the house? Oh, yes. But before we start, can we take our prayers together? Mighty Father, we say thank you, O oh God, for bringing us to church today. Father, we are forever grateful. Lord, as we praise and worship you today, we ask that you accept our praises in Jesus' name. Help us to praise you as we ought to in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I can't hear you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Are you ready? I need everybody to get up and praise the Lord.
sing, how low can you go? And we're gonna sing, you are the way, the truth and the life. Come on, let me hear ya. You are the way, the truth and the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. We live in all for you. Up a bit higher. You are the way, the truth and the life. We live by faith.
What can you do, Jesus? Let's go!
worship God. I need all your eyes closed and your hands up to God in praises to our Father. to study. We ask that you help us understand all that we are going to learn in the name of Jesus. We cover our teachers the blood of Jesus. We cover our lives the blood of Jesus. We ask that you give us wisdom and understanding in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hey guys, how are you? It's another Sunday in April, the year 2020. Praise God for life. Praise God for keeping you alive despite all the back and forth about coronavirus and so on. God has been faithful. Praise God. Just say, just shout your praises to God. Just say, praise God. And give God a hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Because God is faithful. He's kept you. He's kept your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sister. Despite all that is going on around you, you have been kept under the shadow of God's wings. That is so great. God is faithful. Too faithful. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Hallelujah. Children, say hallelujah. Awesome. 
So today, our topic is in Christ. We are reading from page 135 of the Fresh Fire devotional written by our pastor, Pastor Lufemi Monei. And of course, as always, you're expected to have your Fresh Fire devotional, your Bible, your notebook, and your pen to just take down these awesome truths about what God wants you to know for this great Sunday. Today's topic is in Christ. What did I say? In Christ. What did I say? In Christ. And our memory verse is from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. What did I say? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. And it says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Wow. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? Let's see it once again. My memory verse, you can make it personal, is taken from Ephesians chapter 1 verse. Very good. And it says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ even before he made the world. God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Oh, such an amazing, amazing truth. Child, that's amazing. So let's say it one more time and let's think about what we're saying as we repeat it. The memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 to 4 and it says all praise to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ even before he made the world God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes in whose eyes his eyes so let's move on into the main part of our teaching for today. Please open your Bibles to your Fresh Fire devotional so that we can all be carried along as we read. Don't miss out. You should have your Fresh Fire devotional. If you don't have it, get, tell your mommy, tell your daddy to get you one at the church resource stand, God's favorite house resource stand, or at Ebano, the Chevron Drive Ebano supermarket. Let's go on and read. Let's dive into our reading for today. Imagine living in location A, but you have 10 houses, a bank account there that you cannot access from your current location. How do you reconcile that? Hmm. Reconcile means how do you put the two together, make them make sense to you, make them be of usefulness to you. How do you reconcile that? We answer the question, what to do when you're in a location and your resources are in another location yesterday. So you ought to be reading your Fresh Fire devotional even on other days. So this is talking about yesterday, which is Saturday, April 25th. And the topic was blessed. So if you haven't read it yet, go and read it so you can understand what we're saying today okay but let's go on anyway <clears throat> it says <clears throat> let's say you are worth 10 billion dollars billion dollars that's dollars means the money that is used in some parts of the world for example America but your resources are in the US you live in Lagos and you are still worried about paying rent so what does that mean? You have $10 million, but they, it's all in the U.S. And you live in Lagos, and you need to pay rent. Your U.S. million dollars or billion dollars isn't able to do much for you. Because you're right he here in Lagos, and it's all in the U.S., the United States of America. Hmm. 
That's an interesting one. So how are you going to reconcile that? How are you going to manage it? It says, let's also say there is no transfer, no wire transfer. You can't tell, you can't use somebody's phone to do a mobile transfer. How would you reconcile that? How are you going to manage? Let's move on into the reading. So the next thing says, when you go there, you catch some things and pack them into your bag. Now you have some resources, but they can only last so long. Do we now understand? We eventually now can reach our bank account in the US and cash some money. But it's still not going to last forever. It can only last for so long. Okay? But the challenge is that we do not visit that place often enough. We don't go to the US often enough. Pastor is trying to use real life examples. That's what it means by literal examples. They may not be a direct one to you, my dear, but stay with the story stay with me the challenge is we do not go there and bring things down here often enough so sometimes we run out of resources here that wouldn't be very convenient that wouldn't be easy so let's continue and find out the exact thing pastor is trying to teach us in this account so it says you are praying to god and he's saying i've already blessed you you have everything. Heaven says, that's heaven to you now, says you have everything. So when someone says, particularly someone with authority says, God bless you, it is not a contradiction. And your, res your response is not, I am already blessed. What it means is, according to what Pastor is saying here, follow me, hope you're reading your Fresh Fire Devotional, page 135. What it means is God translates that blessing from there to here when someone says god bless you it is bringing your heavenly blessings into your physical where you are right now even though you are spirit living in a body with a soul but you still must see the real time manifestation what does manifestation mean you must see the blessings here in your physical life for example, blessings of succeeding in your exams, blessings of reading and being able to remember and pass your exams and be first. Blessings of praying for your mommies and daddies and God is providing through them. It can buy you lovely clothes, buy you all the things that you need. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Children, praise the Lord. Influencers for Christ, praise the Lord. Awesome. Hallelujah. So I am saying, God bless you. Pastor is saying, God bless you. Say amen. What does amen mean? Amen means that you receive it. When you pray, when you take your stand in God spiritually, what happens is the unlimited resources of heaven. What does, it, what does unlimited mean? It means it doesn't finish. The resources in heaven does not finish. The Bible says that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. God's riches, they don't finish. So, Pastor is saying when you pray, let's go on again. When you take your stand, that's prayer, taking your stand in God spiritually, what happens is the unlimited resources of heaven becomes available to you. At that point, it is as if you have mobile banking to move funds from there. Where is there? Where is there? Who can tell me? Where is there? Heaven. To here. Where is here? Where is here? Here on earth. Praise the Lord. Instant transfer. How many of you know how your mommies and daddies do transfers on their phones and all that? So this is like instant transfer. The beauty of it is that the one there can never finish. Where is there? Heaven. The one there can never finish. When you understand this, you bless the Lord. You honor him and you adore him. Hallelujah. When you understand that the blessings and all the resources and all the mighty things that God has for you can never finish. Then you bless the name of the Lord. You honor him and you adore him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So moving on, it says here, 
says that blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's an awesome one. And I'll say it again. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, the New Revised Standard Version says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every blessing in the heavenly places. Awesome! Praise the Lord! Isn't it awesome? God is good. Awesome. He has blessed us with all, with every. Is it just some spiritual blessings? Tell me, is it just some? No. What, did, what was the word used? Every, every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. I know some people will say, but the Bible says spiritual blessings. Hmm. It says here, check the scriptures. Everyone that God blesses spiritually becomes wealthy. Every single one. So you children are not left out. You influencers for Christ are not left out. You influencers for Christ, every single one of you will receive God's blessings spiritually and it will show into wealth physically in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is not just pastor telling you what you want to hear or making you feel excited or making you feel like, oh, this is um, uh, positive information no this is the truth of god's word this is the truth that doesn't fail god has blessed you with all spiritual blessings and they will show in wealth for you physically as god's own influencers in jesus name amen and it is the covenant that you have in christ jesus that has made it so praise the lord praise the lord Awesome. So let's just repeat our memory verses for today once again. God's word is ever true. God's word is, is ever powerful. And it says from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 to 4, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Influencers, praise the Lord. Can we recite the memory verse again? This time we'll make it personal to us. One, two, go. Our memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 to 4 and it says all praise to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ even before he made the world God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes awesome i'm sure you can recite it without looking in your book anymore yes you can you are an influencer for christ and you have the mind of christ great try well done good job awesome so well done remember that everything that you you need god has made available for you in christ praise the lord every prayer that you that you have made to God, God will release all blessings to you physically. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. Awesome. So we're going to pray together the, the general prayer at the bottom of the text, and it's a hymn. Some of us would know it because some of us follow our prayers for Thrive. And for you who may not know, it's okay. You can sing along as we sing. Words 
That's what Jesus wants you to do. Be nice, be kind. Till next time, God bless you, God keep you, and make his face shine upon you continually in Jesus' name.